13 News Now is your back to school station. Chesapeake Public Schools is asking all high school teachers without a medical exemption to return to in person teaching by November 9th. The news is being met with some mixed emotions. Megan Shin spoke with people on both sides of this decision. There's so many moving parts when it comes to this. Shelly Porter is the director of secondary teaching and learning for Chesapeake Public Schools. She says high schools are facing a particular problem. There are too many teachers who chose to instruct virtually for the number of students who want to return to in-person learning. We have schools getting 10 requests a day for shifting. Porter says that's why the division is having high school teachers return to school buildings on November 9th when freshmen return, unless they have a medical exemption. Okay, we know that these folks cannot come in because of their medical situation. We have others that hoped they could stay home, but we have kids that need them in school. Noreen Lee teaches in the division. They said, I'm sorry, this is unexpected. I'm sure you're sad and upset, but you'll be returning back to the building. And she specifically chose to teach virtually for the full semester before the school year began. Frustrated, nervous, scared. Um, I'm scared I'm going to go into the building and I will be exposed to it and come back home. I could you know, it could lead to my father's death. Her father is 80 years old, so she's trying to get a medical exemption. Meanwhile, school leaders say they need staff to supervise students returning to campus. Every need is important. The Chesapeake Education Association president says the group consists of about 1,200 educators in the city. We want to ensure that every educator that needs to work from home for the safety of themselves and their family is able to do so. And right now it's a balance between health safety and staffing needs. We want to ensure that all of our educators and our students remain safe. Megan Shin, 13 News Now.